Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Welcome to the new year. It is now 2022. I hope you guys are coming off an amazing Christmas. I know I had a great one with my family and my friends. I got to spend time with my loved ones, and we ended up getting some really cool gifts. I hope that you ended up like me and you got a bunch of cool fishing gear that you're just dying to get out there and try. Uh, today's video I wanted to show you this amazing new product that I've got now I didn't get this for Christmas I ended up purchasing this back in the summer of last year but I ended up searching and I run across this cool new product and I think it's Sam SFX is the company and they're a pretty neat little company I actually researched them a little bit on YouTube before I ended up purchasing this product they make a couple of different items they're all very similar just have a few different models of the same particular gadget but they have this cool new multi-tool tying tool hopefully you guys can see that good now this thing is quite amazing it also comes with this carabiner hook with the extendable line i actually think it's made of some stainless material and a hard plastic, not sure about that, but it has two different types of hooks, your normal circle ring clip, and then you've got a latching hook ring right here that works as well. You can clip that onto your vest and it keeps this thing pretty portable and right there in arm's reach whenever you need it. Now let's go over this neat little product. I'm gonna walk you through and show you some of the features that it boasts and just so you know guys this was only 10 bucks i think i even got a two pack for the same price and uh same shipping and everything you can get these on amazon and i think they're sold on ebay and a couple of other sites as well but i bought mine with amazon i'll show you a couple of links down below if you want to go check these out they are super cool cheap but effective I love to take cool little tools like this with me. It really helps you save time and effort. And you're also going to save some money. If you go look at some other particular gadgets like this or you end up buying two or three other things, you're going to end up spending way more than 10 bucks. I just couldn't help pass this up because it was such a great looking deal. All right, so let's first go over this a little bit. As you can see here, we have a set of clippers built in. These are really good for clipping your line. This does very well with your normal monofilament lines and you can cut braided lines with this but it's not really recommended. I have used it to cut some braid but it ends up fraying it a lot on the ends which makes it hard to put through hooks and if you look at the actual product instructions it actually does not recommend braid although you can use it for braid if you want to. Uh, the clippers do have this powder coated area that has like a rubberish grip on it helps protect from slipping um, really neat and it works very well i have a little piece of line here i'll show you you just take your line like so slide it between the clippers press and there you go now this is also has a d-ring built into it uh, you're going to use that to connect to your carabiner but this is also used to tighten your knots you uh, will hook your hook end here on this d-ring and pull your line tight to secure that knot next to your hook also if you'll look there closely there's a pinpoint needle that needle is actually a pretty cool item as well i hadn't seen this very often but it's actually used to clean out the eyes of your hooks. Now, if you're like me, I like to do a lot of pan fishing, and you get a lot of these painted jig heads 
and some of your other lures in particular, uh, if they're painted, you'll run across it where they sometimes cover that eye loop up right there, and you can't get your line through there. Now that's where this neat little gadget's gonna come in handy. You're gonna take it, and you're gonna use it to poke through your jig head on the eyelet of the hook, and that will help you to clear out the paint, dirt, and sand debris. I don't know if my camera will catch that real good for you. Hard to focus, but it cleans it out real well, and you're able to reuse those jig heads you're not sitting there trying to find something small and pointy to try to clean that out with. Uh, next up, you've got what I call the nail head tying system. Now, this is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I like it because it's very, very useful. And it folds down. It's actually on a pinpoint with a swivel. But that little section there, I think they call it the nail head tying system. That's how you tie your loop knots, and there's multiple different ways to use it. You can use it to tie line to line. You can use it to tie your line to your hook or straight to a swivel, and you can also use it when you're tying it to make loops or if you're using it as a loop tire. A lot of cool features on this thing. If you flip it over here on the back, you'll see there's another section that slides out there. And what that is there, it's got a little rough area camera will focus that is a sharpening tool or file for your hooks so once again if you're out there on the water and you've lost a fish or two and you're starting to doubt the integrity of your hooks you can take this here this file and you can file that point down it's got a little line built into it to run your hook through and you can get rid of any of those little burrs and sharpen that hook up and help improve your chances. You don't have time to switch out a hook real quick or change out some trebles on a crankbait or something while you're out there on the water. Pull the file out, sharpen it up, clean up that hook, clean your eyelet out, you're good to go. That's just another one of the cool features built into this multi-tool, guys. It's a really, really amazing product. You take it and you can hook it into your latch here. You unhook that hooking system. Just run it through the D-ring that's built in, like so. Then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to relatch that. I'm good to go. I've got it on a pull string. I connect that to my fly fishing vest that I have or backpack, whatever it is that you like to carry out on the water. And it's right there. It's easy to use, quick to grab, easy access. I'm also going to do a couple of tying videos later on so that you guys can see it in action. I'll try to post those up next. And there you have it, guys. So if you guys are interested in this product, I will have my links down below. Check the comments in the description. Uh, go in there and click on it, and it'll take you straight to the zone. I'll also show you some of the other color options and model options they have available. And I was going to do something special on this video, guys. I got an extra unit, both the carabiner and the actual cutting tool, brand new in the pack. I've ended up buying me another set of the reds that are coming in soon because I like the style and the color and I'd like to have one for my fly fishing vest along with my bass fishing gear that I got, my little soft backpack. I ended up having one extra unit that I'm gonna give away to one lucky subscriber. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel. I'll check it and see if you're showing it as your status on who all you're subscribed to. And as soon as the video hits, let's say 75 likes, I will go through in the comments between it and any of the related videos to this particular tool. And I will choose a random comment and I'll give you three days to respond. And we'll go from there. I'll let you message me your personal info to ship it out and I'll get that out to you in the mail. It will be a amazing product for you to try out. I can't wait to get this going. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for a lot more great content this year. I hope to do a lot more fishing of different types and styles. And as usual, we'll be reviewing cool gear as we go along. And I hope you guys continue to join me for the trip. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one, and we will see you out on the water. Thank you.